Started off, I cut some 9mm plywood into 140mm strips. Cut my first part at 80mm. Cut that on the mitre saw. Place that onto another piece and marked it again so it gives me an exact copy. And cut that out. Now I place one of them onto another piece and mark where it comes to and from them points I've marked a 45 degree handle both sides. Cut that on the mitre saw. What I did on the other side I flipped it over and marked it again so I haven't got to move the saw because of the camera. As you see there. place that on the other piece now. It's already got one of the angles so we'll just mark that there. Cut that on the mitre saw again. <coughs> right, that's some full parts done. Now with another piece I marked 200 millimetres. Cut that out. Place that on another piece and mark it, then I put two together and cut them at the same time. So I've got three at 200 millimeters. One will be the base and two will be the roof. That's them there. I just marked them from your own benefit, which is which. Now for the roof, because it's been butt up, you have to mark the thickness of the other wood and cut that out. You'll see later on why I do that. Just so it's equal, the roof's equal both sides. I'm just cutting that out now on the mitre saw. I will do a full part diagram at the end. That's that done. See, that's how it'll be, then it'll be equal both sides then. Now I've got a cheap little CNC machine, so what I've done, I thought I'd route uh, the tile effect out the roof. So this is just in action. I have sped it up in a minute, so it isn't very long. It's just going down 0.5mm, just gives it that tile effect. It's quite effective really. that done. Did the same to the up for the other side. Now for the front I thought I'd put like a little bit of a door and a window on. Just give it a bit of a feature. So that's that what that's doing now. It's sped up again so it isn't long. It's actually a 3mm bit, what's cutting it out. Is that done? I'm just uh, assembling the birdhouse now, put the sides on, put a couple of pins in already, it's easy then when it comes to assembly. It. Is that done, now doing the back.
front isn't 100% square but I will straighten it up when I put the base on, it's no issue really. Just marking the centre now because I forgot to put the hole in, so I'm doing that now. Just drilling it out using a force and a bit with a scrap piece of wood underneath. Drilling an hole now so I can put a, a dowel in so the bird can uh, get somewhere to from stand. Just putting some pins in the base now so it'll be easy for assemble. Just a bit fiddly now because the roof being uh, the way it is underneath. So I put two pins in the end first. It's just a little bit of outer square, but I can straighten that up now. So I just put a clamp on, just brings it round, sorted. So I'm just bring the rest of the nails on the base. Assembling the roof now. Just checking it's the right way. Placing it on the, the house now. I'm just going to quick sand all over, just knock the edges off really. Just checking the hole, make sure there's you no know, rough edges. Just painting it now with a brown, uh, it's a fence treatment paint this is. Just give it two coats of that. I did everything except the roof. I forgot to show but I put, put a piece of dowel in the 8mm hole what I drilled. Masked it all off now, and I'm going to paint the, the roof with a green spray paint. Just to give it a bit of contrast, really. Pretty good paint, really, it's only needed one coat, very good paint. That's that all done. The next step was to take all the masking tape off. Drill two holes in the top, just put some rope through. We only had blue, so uh, and that's it, that's the finished result. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, please ask. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like what you see. Thank you.